Cats and TV. Hey everybody, Cats and TV, and we are exploring the new Wave Razor module from Mach. Unlike the Wave Razor software synthesizer, which we recently reviewed, the Eurorack module contains only the oscillator sections, specifically two oscillators, with a vast array of wave slicing options available through the touchscreen, continuous controllers, and copious CV inputs. But first, a bit more about wave slicing synthesis. Let's start with a simple sine wave. In wave slicing, we chop the waveform into separate segments, and then we alter the segments, such as pitch and volume. It already has more complexity. We can change one of the other segments, and we can change the phase and DC offset. We can even change the waveform itself. The discontinuities in the waveform are part of what give it its richness. This is the harmonic richness we find in sawtooths and squares, but we can go far beyond that. Let's go back to the module and start with a chopped sine wave patch. Use the shape continuous controller to change the wave shape from over a hundred different varieties to affect each of the segments. Each oscillator has two pages of live parameters accessible through this page control. This includes an XY vector with two dimensions of real-time control. There are also these continuous physical knobs that control virtual parameters on the screen. Duty adjusts the proportional width between adjacent segments, much like a pulse width modulation. Razor size adjusts the overall length of time between different adjustments of the waveform, much like granular synthesis. Shorter razor sizes induce harmonic changes, whereas larger razor sizes induce rhythmic changes. Okay, now you can hear some of the real pulse width changes of the razor duty. Let's listen to some additional patches, including this one from the Swarm series. Here, the continuous controller is mapped to different macro parameters. Same goes for the XY controller and page two of the oscillator parameters. Okay, so we're going to load a new preset, which we can do by tapping the preset section of the screen and then selecting a bank and selecting a preset. In this case, it's Alter Wave 7S, which includes seven different segments that we can control continuously using the even and odd controllers on the right hand side of the screen. Okay, we started with a simple continuous sine wave but we can change the even and odd segments now using the continuous controllers. With these controls, we were able to quickly build up a complex waveform. A 
wait, I didn't mean to go to the info page yet, but we will do that soon. In this instance, you can truly hear the rhythmic quality of long razor sizes. And the transition from rhythmic to harmonic as we lower the razor size. Okay, now we're going to learn how to create our own waveforms manually. If we go into the info section, we can see each of the oscillators and the seven wave segments in this example. Let's go to wave segment one and let's change its shape. Okay, let's go and select segment two, which we can do oscillator one, wave two, and then we can select its shape. We're starting to build up an increasingly complex waveform. Let's advance to section three and change its shape as well. Okay, that's a little wimpy. Let's change the DC offset. Okay, that's much richer. Let's keep going. We can do this with additional waveform segments as well to create an even richer sound. We can even add some noise sections. Okay, as we're done editing, let's go back to the main page. We can use the continuous controls on the waveform that we've just created. Okay, I kind of like this new waveform and oscillator configuration that we've created, so let's save it. We can do that using save and then set a name for it and save it into the user bank. Okay, we're now going to insert a clock source into the clock input to look at some new features. In particular, we can use a clock source to advance the razor. We do that going to the master of the oscillator and then setting external clock to on. As you can hear, the waveform segments now advance based on the clock tempo. Let's speed it up a bit. You can do some interesting musical things with this. You can also use the wave razor with external sources instead of the built-in waveforms. The same waveform operations apply. We can now create a wave slicing effect by changing the volumes of the different slices in the input waveform. Let's lower the volume of the input source so we can hear what the wave slicing is actually doing.
Okay, we're now going to look at the CV inputs. There is a bank of 20 variable CV inputs that correspond to the various macro controls, in particular patches. All the controls have corresponding grid elements on the screen. For example, the odd and even here are the bottom left controls on the CV inputs. I'm going to go ahead and insert a CV control, specifically the mod wheel from our Arturia Mini Brute, into the bottom left corresponding to the even control of this patch. The page 2 controls for each oscillator also map to various CV inputs. For example, the XY control goes to these ones on the upper right side. I'm going to now set our mod wheel control to the R size, which is a center upper. You can see how the various controls are set up by going into the Info section and then selecting Controls. Here we can see the matrix of different controls and what they are assigned to. In this case, the even control is assigned to four different waveform shapes of oscillator 1. We can of course attach as many of these CV inputs at once as we want. In this final section, we're going to attach the various CV controls to different sequencers that are all synchronized to drum machines. This concludes our first look at the WaveRazor Eurorack module. For more information, visit mock.com and check out the description below this video. Thanks for watching. Check out more at www.catsynth.com and please subscribe to CatSynth TV.